Battletoads is calling. Okay, we have the items out here. I'm doing a top loader NES here with all the connections and everything. And today, we're gonna play on this Zenith TV. So, I know there's a remote. I might have left that inside. But we're gonna actually, this is gonna be really difficult. Might be easier just to rotate the TV like this. I'm gonna probably do that. Zenith does have yellow, red, and white video cables. So it does have composite on the back. There's the back label if you guys wanna see it. It looks like this is from May of 99. They don't have any component, they don't have any inputs on the front of this. So let's swing it around. The viewing angle won't be the best, but we're playing it here tonight. Okay, we didn't find a remote for the TV. I mean, we did, and this one I powered on with batteries, but it's just not working with this Zenith. It's weird. Pretty sure this is the remote here too for this TV. Maybe if I cleaned it out, I'd get somewhere. I don't know, but for now, we're not getting anywhere. But anyways, why don't we just go ahead and see if we can flick this on. <laughs> oh yeah, there you have it. Okay, is that good enough? It's good enough for me, I think. We're on the top loader, so we have a better chance that this is actually gonna work the whole time. The screen is a little bit cut off on the left for me, but hopefully you guys can see it. I mean, the picture looks freaking awesome. I, had to move, I think I should move the Trinitron over to the right a little bit so I can see better. I mean, I'm satisfied with this Zenith here. This looks freaking great. Oh, right, that's the warp. Here, hold on, I gotta see a little bit better on the right side. Let me move this Tron over. Bit. It's about the best I can do without sacrificing the stability of this all, but I can see the TV now, so fully. So, yeah, I mean, this is pretty darn sick. If there's any problems with it, the colors are a little weird. That's probably easily fixable, though. I mean, the, it looks great. It looks really good. Um, CRTs are just undefeated in my opinion. This just is not gonna look that good on a on a flat screen. It just won't. So yeah, are we gonna go for a no death run or just beat it? I think we should just beat it. <laughs> a no death run might be kinda hard to do randomly like that. We we can always try to go for one, I guess. You'll probably be disappointed, however. All right. No death around the Zenith TV from 1999. Sure, I'm happy to be out here playing games on this. Man, this is a great TV. I'm actually supposed to get rid of it on Saturday, but I don't know. I mean, how many of these TVs do I need, right? So that's why I was just trying to get rid of this big one. This is a 27 inch. I, I was pretty happy that I had a remote, but I don't know. I might have to clean the remote. None of the buttons worked. There's definitely battery power. I can see it lighting up. But yeah, we're here for the long haul. I got a chair that's not so uncomfortable. It's okay. I used to have a way better one in here. But this one, this one's okay. Oops. Oops. Wanted to grab that in case. Oh yeah, then we, oh, nope. Those guys can do one shot kills on you. You can't, you can't mess around with those guys too much. Oh, 
because they can one shot you. Hopefully the video is pretty good here in terms of quality. How's, how's it going here? Looks like we have, maybe that's a little bit better of a viewing angle for y'all. Yeah, it's a little bit on the side and everything, but I think it'll work. I see there's a wire in the way a little bit. Eh, it shouldn't, it shouldn't bother things too much. This is a garage playthrough, right? You're not getting a capture card out here. Oops. Now, I'm not really worrying too much about the extra lives. Why is that? Well, I mean, I always try, but I'm not, I'm not probably trying my hardest. Shit. Shoot. I was down to a one a one one shot death there. I did not want to take any more hits because I was ready to die. We're going for the no death run. <laughs> Good luck, huh? Okay, we'll do it like that. You know, and there's no way to really, um, yeah, I can't, I can't make the video quality better. The Trinitron's in the way to the right. There's a big ass Trinitron right over there, so we can't change anything. But once again, I'm just gonna compliment the, the Zenith. The problem with the TV is there's just one composite input. There's nothing else. So that, that sucks. I mean, you'd like to have some component preferably. If no component, at least a couple more composites or S-Video or something. I don't know when S-Video came out, I guess. And to be honest, I never really use S-Video. I'm, I'm more of just a composite guy. I like, I like component though. I do use that. go turbo tunnel time baby the colors are starting to i mean they seem like they look better now maybe the tv just had to warm up from a long rest i've never used the tv before this is the first time i've used it i got it from somebody uh you know free in their basement they hadn't used it for a long time i don't i don't know how long a long time is Ooh, I almost jumped into it. What a game. This works for a garage chair too. I don't think I really showcased it too hard. And yeah, this this is cool, man. This is a nice sending off to the Zenith if I do indeed get rid of it. I, I haven't heard from the guy. 
in standard Facebook Marketplace fashion. Okay. <laughs> It still makes me sweat. <laughs> it does. Still makes me sweat. All right, no death run intact. Yeah, it's going to be hard to remember everything. I haven't played the game for a few months. hard jumps on this game that I just don't know if I'm really ever going to get comfortable with. Here's my coffee spot. How many times have I said this whenever I play the game? We don't have any coffee, tea, or any drink of any sort out here. It's just me. So we just have to wait the uh, 20 seconds or whatever it is. There's other ways to do the thing too, but that's how I do it. I like, I like my way as well. Oops. Okay, how, how's this go? One. Okay, I mean, that's pretty simple. I figured it'd be a little bit more complicated. Okay, this, this is the one where I have to duck. Okay. This isn't quite that hard jump yet. I know there's two, um, there's two bugs before that, so that's how I'll know it's the complicated jump. Now I saw, I saw, I saw this tip from, uh, Nightcaps and Nostalgia, that's not how I've done this part historically, but I've been watching how he does it, and that's a little bit of an improvement to my game right there. A little bit less risk than what I've always done. Okay, here's, here's that hard jump. There we go, we did it. Decide not not to go for the the points. Just didn't line up. There's ways to do this part differently, too. But we did it the standard way. Standard way is not so hard, but Paul Mega Retro Man Tessie had a nice little improvement as well that I think I did on my No Death Run that I pulled off. Surf City. Let's go. Huh? Holy shit. Don't get don't get too stressed out about that. Pretty sure there's going to be some uh, flies, I think. Right? Maybe not. I think, think there is. Besides, this is mostly a one-hit kill level anyway.
Yeah, I think there, I think there's some flies right here. So we're good to go. This is as good as full health. Shit. Say if we can keep that guy in one spot. The rest of the level is one hit kill, so your health does not matter. Okay. The RNG was fine to me. Jeez. Yeah, baby. Now we're on to the snake pit. No death run intact. Don't get your hopes up. How cool would that be, though? It'd be crappy that the video's so poor um, in terms of quality and stuff. But pretty cool and authentic if I can pull that off just randomly like that. I would say that shows I'm a true toad master if that happens. If we get a no death run kind of out of nowhere after not playing for uh, a few months. I have to pat myself on the back and say, man, I, I've reached pretty good heights. And this snake, his color just does not look the way it should. I feel like he's supposed to be just straight blue, and he's like a little bit of a bluish purple. Here's a place where you can go to the next level if you want. There's no time to do shit because the snakes go so damn fast. Think about that speed. Okay. Many guys like to jump on this spot, but there's no reason to. I don't even try to like worry about that part anymore. A lot of people do this part differently too. Um, it's usually go like that the way I do it. A lot of ways to play this game actually, there is. I just got stressed out thinking about I forgot there's Robo Mantis in this game. I gotta beat that guy if I wanna do a no death. He's kind of a big roadblock on this game, even if you know all the secrets. He's tough. Boom, baby! On to the next challenge, which is Robo Mantis' level. It's called the, uh. Oh no, it's Volkmeyer's here. Never mind. Well, this is another hard one, though. This one's, this one's not easy either. Even, even if you know what to do. Okay, I was gonna go for it, but I... I got a late start. 
That one does not come that close. No death run has ended. That's okay. It's been really hard to beat Robomantis. Too bad that had to happen, though. Uh, really, another one? Well, the best way to go is just do the little trick that we all know about. If you can pull it off. Well, let's just count the deaths. We've gotten two. Um, at least we've already done the no death, or I don't really feel like i got to prove myself anymore. However, it would be pretty cool to do a repeat. That's kind of like what I've decided on right there, is how to, how to beat that one there. That's how I do it. I jump over the third one is what I've been doing. It's kind of like the thing I decided on. All right, here's another situation where you can easily lose lives. And I, I don't really have it memorized, I guess. Um, how fun is this freaking game, dude? What a, what a fun one. forward now. Boom. Doom, 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 doom. almost got me there. in the back mid. One, two, three. Here we go. This, this is the part I was thinking of. One in the back. One in the front. One in the back. No. Yeah, it shows how rusty I am, guys. This is it. Three foolish deaths on that level. Uh, okay, yeah. I mean, it's not easy. It is, it's, it's just not. It's not, not an easy level. I will say that most gamers cannot beat it. So there, there you have it. I don't know. I feel like that just might make this part. Yep, it did. Made that part a little easier. I feel like I'm pretty good at the normal level on this one. But. But, uh, Robomantis is just, he's just a challenge. You can easily miss that thing I just did, too. Um, I decided just to go for it since we already did lose a life. That's something I learned, I believe, from Renaissance. What I just did there. So yeah, I, I did learn from people how to play the game a little bit differently. It's still mostly what I would say is my way, but I've definitely taken a few other things from other people. And we all have a different way of doing it. We all just have a different style, a different approach. There's just different things a guy can do to play this um, and, and also get, and also get uh, through this. 
You don't have to do it a certain way, you can do it a lot of different ways. I'll let him suck for a bit. And I'll go attack it. It's weird you can't hit him from be from the below level like that. Oh shit. Eh. In the past, I would try to attack that, but what's what's really the point? There isn't. You just can easily skip right past them. Okay, Robomantis, baby. Boom! Flawless! Well, geez. That did go pretty good. I liked how I got the bouncing the thing uh, quite a bit. The pros don't even ever have to let them land, though. So, I could, I could improve still. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fair. I knew I couldn't go so far. Well, we're gonna say that's four deaths, I think. Let's go for the one CC, huh? Let's do it. This is kind of like a battle to Uberlud, you know? This is kind of like a battle to Uberlud. Yeah, man, I love the top loader. No bullshit with this thing. I'm not going to have any resets. I don't want to jinx it because the power is not even securely plugged in. I will say that. But, uh... I think since we've made it this far, as long as I don't jerk anything, I'm good. As it stands now, I kind of want to keep this great Zenith TV. It's pretty freaking cool, man. All these CRTs are just so good. I love CRTs so, so much. Like, I really do. For um, retro gaming, you just cannot beat it. Like, man, this looks good. And yeah, none of these things don't even know what input lag is. They, they do not know what input lag is. There's no such thing. CRTs are not made with that stuff. Speaking of the pros, they can just swim under that first part. Snakes come out of there too if you wait too long. There, there they are. Eels. 
The thing about these eels is you really just don't want to fear them, like... Yeah, I struggle with that part. I don't know, um, I don't, I don't know, um, I don't, I don't remember that being an issue in the no death run that I did, you know? But yeah, like, what do you, what do you do? I don't know, um, because you always have this guy straight, straight up, yeah, you almost have to, like, push the button in at the end. Um, that's a part where, anyway, we're on five deaths, but yeah, that, that's a part where I, I, I die a lot. This is going to be close, too. I think it will be okay. Remember, Phil Twerpin was struggling hard with that part. But yeah, I didn't even do a good job, but you just... Huh? Six deaths. But anyways, this this is this is this is what you do. You hit him once and you jump out. Hit him once and you jump out. That's it. It's damn. Um... It's damn duck. <laughs> Seven deaths. But again, it doesn't doesn't count that much because I'm getting the extra life, you know. But it does. Seven deaths. Straight up. Pay, pay that man his money. Maybe the strategy in Battletoads is always just to be super aggressive. Besides right there, you can just jump away from him. Alright, and now, many people, they, in fact, I used to do it like that too. Many people wait for a good opportunity to, to um attack and kill that fish and I probably would if the, don't, the no death runs if Rosen attacked here but really you know also watching Battletoad Overload I did not know but you can actually kill that shark I think he takes four four hits or so I think he takes four hits I have never killed him but I saw Nightcaps and Nostalgia did so, yeah, there's a way to do that, too. Good to know. It's kind of how I handle these rubber duckies. We're going to actually kill this one this time. Alright, how about Gary the Fish? Well, he's gonna, he's, Gary's going to be in play. This is what he does here. Um, I'm just going to do it like he does this time. This is, night, this is the Nightcap's way. Nightcaps and Nostalgia, right here. He, he does it does it just like this. This is the Nightcaps and Nostalgia way. Maybe it's six hits, but you you can kill him, and he's not he's not. It's six hits, I think. Is it eight? Gary, you can just stay away. Six hits. I was gonna say six, but it seemed like a lot, and it is. But it's probably why I never killed him in the past. Seems like you just can't kill him, but you can. Alright, with how many deaths? I don't know. Is it six or eight or something? We are on to the rat race, right? I think so. freezer just kicked in and so like the whole everything had a problem there but at least the NES is still on I'm not on a grounded outlet and I really don't know exactly what that means I'm not an electrician um, it sounds like something every basic person ought to know but I don't I don't actually know what the heck it means I know that that's a good thing I've never pulled off the successful um one hit. I, maybe one time I did. 
Oops. Okay. Because this is not the third rat race, I think I still got him. We are blowing it, though. I don't know. We might not get this. On this run, that is. But we still did. You can't have such mistakes on the third one. Which is right now. Once I get through the level piece of it. Shit, really fucked up. I thought I, I thought I might be able to get a little bit of time there with that, but I really screwed it up. Dead. Okay. Yeah, there was nothing I could do, I think, after I screwed it up there. Shouldn't have went for that, I think, yep. That was the only time where I had a questionable way to get some time back. I wouldn't have done it, but I felt like I needed it. That's helpful. trying to hit him, I just fucked up. Well, this is gonna be it here. Unless you can get through and get lucky. Ha! I even hit him, man! Come on, bro! Alright. Well, that was close. Really close. Right down to the wire for me and Mr. Rat. Ooh! Okay. Sheesh! are big mistakes, but it's okay. Um, it might just make it easier to get the time bonuses by hitting them now. I'll show you what I mean. I, I really, I kind of know how to, like, make this work. It has to be near the end of the ramp. And this next one here is going to line up great. See, there you go. If it's too early, he's just going to go right past you, see. It's got to be near the end of the ramp. I got lucky that that worked. I couldn't couldn't go for it again because I was going to miss it. He was too far ahead. Oh, come on, though! Let's... Come on, bro. I think that was a little bit unforgiving. But hey, this is Battletoods. This is the world of Battletoods. Let's play some freaking Battletoods. Let's play some freaking Toods. That kind of works out pretty well for me when that happens there. Well, those things didn't work out the best. You can hit them almost every damn time if you got it down. Okay. actually really good. Sweet. Yep. Okay. Sure was freaking hard. This has got to be one of the most fun bosses in video game history. He's so fun. 
be so fun to fight. Those are different ways to fight him. I've never done it like that. This is almost just like a battle to do lead. <laughs> this is almost like an overlead. All right. Clinger winger in the garage. Will you catch me? I don't know. Do I remember the level? Hell no. <laughs> but will my instincts guide me? Yes, they will. Will I win? I think so. Can I win? Yes, I can. Have I won? Yes, I have. Keep, keep your distance, Ball, for I am solid, and I've played this before. It might, it might look like you have the advantage, but you don't. You're playing a pro who can come back. When you get me, it'll be a shock. But you don't but you don't have much distance, do you? You're looking really good there, Paul. I've never seen you look so good. Are we playing on a CRT? Uh yep. So what's the problem then? There is no problem. We're playing on a CRT, guys. The advantage is mine, Ball. This is not a flat screen. You lose. You're gonna have to take a lot of lives for me to get me off this continue too. All right, we kind of like, we used to have this thing down, like completely figured out, but I, I don't anymore. Um, I think the thing was just to do a, a ram like this. He got me. Alright, bitch. You did get a life off of me, and I didn't have a great performance, but it was okay. And just like that, we are on the very last level of this legendary game. Um... Hard to believe. I mean, geez, how, how fat? What's the clock say? 44 minutes? Okay. All right, I understand. I feel like playing some more games on this beautiful TV. But this is the only game I brought. <laughs> so, it's just going to be a battle toad overlead. Battle toad all night. No, I'm not going to play it again. Although, I mean, I wouldn't mind playing it again. I'd be fine with that. What I'd do, though, is I'd try a different TV. I have a beautiful, big-ass Toshiba right next to it, too. It's like a 30... It's a 32. It's a 32, yeah. And it's, it's a great TV, I assume. I've never even used it. That's a tragedy, isn't it? I think so. If I did beat that tonight, that'd be like a true battle to do. Really. I was gonna say, there's like this green thing. I saw him. Now here's where the red guy, yeah, there's the red guy. That down. He wants to. He wants to suck you in like Kirby. All 
All right, another uh, crazy part, huh? We're not going to worry too much about it. What? I mean, that's bullshit. Alright, good enough. Okay. Whoa. Come on, Nate. Don't, don't, don't you know how to use the damn spring? Oops. Got a little closer for comfort. That was pretty close as well. There's no going back in battle teams. I could tell that was going to be the one. Come on! I jumped up in time. Come on, Rash. Now it's, now it's going to be a little harder. Be able to use that weapon so fun. Go ahead and do your thing. I'm gonna get his ass when he tries to go. He's the slow version. Come on, bitch. Try try it again. He's gonna go I would say left. Where else are you gonna go? Alright. I don't think those punches do a damn thing. Alright, here we go. Oh, we have all the springs still, huh? All these springs we gotta do, and then we gotta make sure to jump on the damn thing. This would have been a very disappointing no death run to get this far and then die in a foolish way, so it's fun to entertain the idea of getting a no death run, but that's just the honest truth is it just takes a lot of time and work. And you're probably not gonna pull it off on accident with a game like this. Alright, we're safe. Here we go, this is a checkpoint. And we're nearly done. We are nearly done, guys. Start taking four hits. T 
<laughs> okay. Question is, do we bring my damn NES back in? Or do we just do a bunch of game, great games out here? Cause I mean, we got a Trinitron right next to me. We got a great ass Toshiba. Got a little Magnavox over there. I mean, man, we got CRTs here today. Always. I thought I was gonna miss that one. Whoa, Nate, no! Oh man, look at how far back we gotta go. Jeez, that sucks. It's okay. It's alright. Just more battle tits for me. I always just hate losing my stick. A couple ways to do this part too. You can actually just take the, um, the stick you were just doing too. Come on, come on, come on, come on down, dark, dark queen. Ooh. Shit. Sad, sad. Oh! Incapacitated. She's like really dead. She's super dead. hits you got like you got to be dead like in one more I'd say this is the last one yeah all right now we're gonna go to the side so yeah we did we did it baby under an hour I guess I would have definitely stayed out here a little bit longer if they wanted but yeah what a great looking TV look at the Zenith from 1999 what a fun one I enjoyed it would play on it again. I mean, this thing's just like anything else, man. It looks awesome. Like, I I don't see why it's all about the Trinitron with everybody. I mean, this looks freaking great. I was very happy with the Sylvania, too. Um, all the TVs I've had, I've had three of them here. Sylvania, they look amazing as well. Didn't mean to spike the controller, but it's kind of just got spiked on accident. That's gonna be it. So yeah, I'm gonna go up onto the TV. Ugh! And so, the Dark Queen is defeated once again, retreating into the shadowy margins of the galaxy to recoup her losses until the next time. 
trying just to find a way to sneak in here. I got you on the phone charger. Yeah. There we go. Gosh, this damn thing. I gotta like make this this stand. I think some kids are messing with it. Here we go. We did it. 628-24, guys. Battletids in the garage defeated. Thanks for watching, everybody. Until the next time.